Welcome to 60 Second Civics from the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. The right of association is not mentioned in the Constitution, but the courts have said that it is implied by the other rights in the First Amendment, in particular by the rights of free speech and assembly. The right to associate freely with other citizens is part of living in a free society. The government should not interfere with people's right to join with others, it is argued. Whether such association takes place in private clubs, college fraternities or sororities, political parties, professional organizations, or labor unions. The first time the Supreme Court dealt with an issue regarding the right to associate was in 1958. The state of Alabama had ordered the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP, to disclose its membership list. During this time, the NAACP was engaged in a bitter civil rights struggle. The Supreme Court thought that if the NAACP membership list was made public, then this disclosure might lead to hostile acts against NAACP members. The court ruled in NAACP versus Alabama that the First Amendment protects the right to associate and that Alabama's demand for the membership list violated this right. However, soon after the Alabama ruling, the court upheld laws that required disclosure of membership lists of the Communist Party. In Berenblatt v. United States, 1959, the court justified this decision on the ground that the organization advocated violent overthrow of the government. That's all for today's podcast. Thank you to our sponsor, T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. 